hi guys good morning good afternoon good evening Wh whatever time it is you're watching this video welcome to fashion for queens this is another lovely tutorial how to fix boning i'm going to show you how to fix boning i hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys i hope you find this easy drop a comment down below guys like this video share comment subscribe if this is your first time show me some love support me and god bless you as you do so so i've made several videos on the corset so this is the pattern i'm just going to drop a link on the description box i'm not going to start going over cutting the corset i'll just go through the process and then show you how to fix the boning so i've already cut and sewn i fixed my corset so if you want to learn how to cut the corset and also how to sew i'll drop a link on the description box down below so this is the boning i'm going to use it's the, it's the strong type so there are different types so when you go to the market you pick the one that you're comfortable with so this is like 0.3 inches it's not up to half an inch or 0.5 so you have to know the measurement of the boning that you're going to use some is some actually up to half an inch but this one is 0.3 there about so the first thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to take my ruler and my chalk and i'll be creating the lines on the place where this where the boning is going to be sitting on so you can do this from the back of your top so i i went ahead to do it from the front because if i draw the lines from the back you may not be able to see my lines so the first one i'm going to be drawing will be at the middle in the center from there as you can see in between the two busts i'm going to be drawing it's a straight line to connect it to the bottom and this my corset gown it's a gown and it has a basque waist that's why it's looking like this so this is the first one so as you can see it is up it's not up to half an inch this is about 0.4 so you need to make it so that when you fix the boning it's going to be tight it's not going to be loose so it, it won't be shifting from where it's sitting we don't want it shifting we want it to be firm and structured so the next i'm going to be drawing another line on the under boss then connect it one inch close to the center front So you can see the way I am giving it a shape, it's, it's bent, it's kind of bent. And then another thing you do is to make sure that the lines you're making are equal on every side. So you can see now that's the second place we are going to fix our boning so i'm going to apply what i did to the right hand side to the left hand side you can do it one by one so that you won't be confused so remember the purpose of redrawing this line is a guide on what we are going to sew we are going to sew on top this line we are drawing now so it's just a guide so that we won't miss it so another next line we're going to be drawing is directly under directly on the under bust on the darts remember we have a dart in this top so directly on the dart that's where we're going to be putting the next pony So I also apply it to the left hand side. You can choose a different structure of your boning. You can choose a different line or a pattern of how you want to structure your boning. It depends on you. But this works for this particular style. 
and then i'm just going to do one more still on the under bust why i want it to be very defined so after drawing this now i'm just going to take it to my sewing machine and so so as you can see we are no longer seeing those chalk marks i'm no longer seeing it so i just sewed directly on top the straight lines i did so next i'm just going to fix the boning you can see my boning is hard and firm it's not the light one it's the thick one so i'll just go straight and fix this so there's a space in between the lines we sewed just fix it there remember i said your your lines they don't have to be too far apart from each other they have to be almost exactly the size of the boning so it will be firm so it should touch the beginning part it should touch the midpoint so you have to push it very well so it to be firm and strong so as you can see mine is firm it's not shifting from one it's not shifting from one side to another so i'm just going to use the scissors to cut use the scissors that maybe you're not using to cut fabric so it wouldn't be blunt then i'm going to be shifting this away by half an inch you know we are going to fix this on the gown so and we can't sew on top of this if not your needle will break so i just shifted it so you can see now i have half an inch there for my joining allowance so i'm just going to repeat this process for the other but so that you're going to see it clearly so guys if you're confused on how i made the corset don't fail to watch our video it's on the link on the description box i'm going to drop it there so i'm just going to cut it off again remembering the half an inch that we're going to use to join with our skirt parts remember that this is a gown so i'm just going to go ahead to finish it up so if, if, if you practice this guys drop a comment let me know what you think and don't forget to like this video if you're new don't forget to subscribe 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 okay this is all i'm done this is ready to be joined to my skirt parts this is basically it guys that's all i hope you enjoy this video i hope you find it beneficial you can see how firm and structured it is it is really really nice and ready to go thank you so much guys for watching i love you all so much please share this video to someone who needs it like comment share subscribe if this is your first time and come back for more Thank you and see you guys in the next one.